morning. This is vlog 452. We're gonna go into the valley. On a uh, Saturday. On a Saturday. Why are we going? To get silicone for my mermaid. Kathy's getting started on her mermaid. Plus, Again. she... What? Again. She also got that job that we were we were talking about earlier in, the, in a couple blocks back, a uh, top secret project. She can't really show what it is. You guys get a chance to see a, a bit of the build and stuff, but we can't talk about it. Behind me in the gas station, is the new Karma. It's all clad. You can't really tell. It's much of a difference between the original Fisker and the new Karma, but they're driving through Malibu today doing some testing. We pretty much know what's coming anyway. The Fisker has always been a really nice car. We drove that car and it was spectacular. I loved it. Karma's gonna be a little bit different, not too much. Uh, aesthetically, it's still gonna look the same, but power plant, I think, is gonna have a bit stronger uh, electric motor capacity. Oh. Still should be electric, fully electric, though. Really? It should be, you know, with uh, Tesla and everything else, right? You guys think uh, the, the Karma should be full electric? I do. Once again, we're at Reynolds Advanced Materials for Kathy Silicone, for her mermaid. That's right. In the best part of town. Oh, it's fantastic. This is North Hollywood. I think the mermaid is one inch closer. I'm gonna buy this for Sean for Christmas because I don't think he has any calipers. He has to borrow the box. So he needs his own. Pretty sure this Willem Dafoe. Oh yeah, yeah. Well not actually him, but just part of it. We stopped back at the pad, drop off the dogs, and now we gotta head up into town to go to the store because we have no food in the fridge. Do we have any food in the fridge at all? You just had lunch. Well, that means it's in my stomach now instead. All right. Do we need a pumpkin? We do not. Because we have our own pumpkin. I grew my own. And I'm gonna put it.
Uh-huh. You got it. Keep going. Uh -huh. <laughs> she did it, bug. We're gonna go take a look at a house. Our friend Paul Grisanti has a house that is on PCH, on the water. Yay. And it's, it looks pretty cool, so we'll go check it out. And it's a lot less than that $17 million house. Yeah, it's a little less. It's 3.3. So you got, you got enough in your wallet? Always. Very nice. A little pull apart? Yep, great. This is such a great, great room, you know? It's just. And there's the stairs. And downstairs. You saw a seal? Well, I'm just doing an open house here at this beautiful house at 19906 Pacific Coast Highway. Mm. It's two bedrooms, two and a half baths, originally built in 1948. It's on the water, as you can see from the earlier, I saw you point the camera at the water We earlier. did, yeah, a few times. And that is supposed to be a surfable wave out there. Yeah, whether it's supposed to be or not, we would. We would. Was, yeah, we would do Kathy that. had her board right now. She would not be looking at the house. She'd be out there. Well, okay, that's good. One of the really nice things about this is a lot of people buy a beach house as a second home. Mm -hmm. And what's a drag for them is they end up, to get a good price, they end up going out to Oxnard, mm -hmm. yeah. way far, Ew. and then they don't use it. Yeah. This is this only is about. Really functional. Four miles from the Palisades. Yeah. Very easy to use, very easy to enjoy. 3.3? 3, 3 million, 390. Okay, can we, can we, can we bring the 90 For down? you, I'm sure yeah. we could work it out. <laughs> yeah, it's got the jacuzzi, which is awesome. It's, it's got, got the, the jacuzzi. The great room upstairs. Great room upstairs, nice room down here as well. Bedroom upstairs, yes. bedroom downstairs. What's the square footage? Uh, 1,954 square feet according to the appraiser. Oh it's the God. ultimate beach pad. I know, I just found that. Did you see that? Oh, we just found some bonus space. <laughs> I love that house. I totally love it. That house was absolutely one of the best ones I've seen. Because it's not too big. Really no, well great. designed. Really it comes great. Comes from the 40s, which yeah. seems to be our favorite era of houses. Great use of space. Really well designed. Yeah. Uh, Paul, big thanks. But here's a here's a Lamborghini. Big thanks, Paul, for having us over, uh, uh, letting us know to come check it out. Uh, it's always fun to hang out with this guy. He's a nice guy. He's super nice, and um, it's that house. Uh, oh God. I may just have to get it. Chocolate covered almond, coconut. Chocolate covered coconut almond. It's a pretty good size, don't you think? Don't think so. That is a malted milk ball. I haven't had one in a long time. Malted milk ball. I've never had these, but this sounded good, so. Creamy, coconutty, malted milk ball.
Wow. Really good. You gotta be kidding me. They're both awesome. I bought a bag of, of both of them. They're huge. I got them in my closet. My stash. Always fun. Always fun to hang out with Paul. Uh, just a, a really interesting guy. Loves uh, the combination of homes and real estate. Loves Malibu. He's been in Malibu since the 70s. Big car guy. We talked about going to Montecito Cars and Coffee together. We gotta drive up some really cool car. But he's always fun to hang out with. Very good sense of humor and just loves this town the way that we do. If you're looking for a house, uh, you want a little house by the beach? This one rocks. Very cool. Maybe you don't want it. Maybe maybe you don't want it. And I'm kind of hoping that you don't because I kind of want it. I certainly know that Kathy wants it. Any house that is near a surf spot that you can actually ride the waves right out in front of your house. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm heading to the Murphy Automotive Museum and we're going to the Station Wagon Pickup Show. It's going to be Station Wagons. That should be a very cool show. Oh, I, I can't stop thinking about that house. It was so beautiful. There's just so many beautiful things in this town, you know, but there's just so many people that miss it. If you let your mind wander and worry about the past and think, try to try to figure out things for the future, you miss all the beauty, all the great things that are in your own town, that are right in front of your face. People miss these things because their mind is somewhere else while they're driving or while they're walking or they're other doing stuff. You just stop, take a moment, look out your window, look out your door. There's nothing better than to stand on a deck and look out at the ocean and uh, maybe for you, you're looking out and you've seen a grand vista or maybe you're, you're seeing uh, uh, animals or whatever it is that it is for you. You gotta fill your life with that as much as you possibly can. Problems aren't solved because you figure out how. Problems are solved because you let it go and let things fall where they may. You just gotta have faith and let that happen the way it's supposed to happen. And then drop it, let it go, and let, let the universe kind of work it out for you, and it does. It creates amazing opportunities for you. Not too many cars today, but tomorrow, yeah, gonna make up for that. We've got a station wagon show we're going to. That's gonna be awesome!